Welcome back to the Dynamo Show. I am your host, James Earth, the Chief Architect of WOW for Dynamo Entrepreneur. We are going to keep things going with my good friend, Edwin Zapata. Hi, thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thank you for coming to the show. I must say, I'm a, I'm a big fan of you, and not only kind of what you do, but who you are. Okay, one, you, you, and I was just talking to one of our other guests that knows you, Zolt, that came on to one of the earlier shows. And we were just speaking about your personality and how, how magnetic you are in regards to the compassion that you have for people. So I must commend you on that because I think it's very important because not too many people have impressed me the way you have and in the things that you've brought to me, including the United Way gig, you know, speaking for the United Nations, sorry, the United Nations yes. of Canada Association. That was very, very cool. So thank you for that. So just sending you an attitude of gratitude. Just keep being who you are. Right? Thank you. Let's talk a little bit about the journey. Let's talk about, you know, how did... And would become this amazing person. Well, um, in a sense, all your life experiences really make you who you are, how you choose to identify with them. Mm -hmm. But what came to make me who I am had to be um, going through, you know, a poverty sort of background sort of thing. It really helped me stay humble and true to my roots. Mm -hmm. Right. So once. Once I got to see an opportunity where I can do more with my life and basically expand my imagination, really that's what uh, helped me want to give more and it helped me become who I am. Any big life experiences, like any that really shaped you? A big life experience, I'd, I'd have to reflect back on my early teenage years back in high school. Okay. Because back then we didn't, we didn't have much money, we didn't have mm -hmm. much. So I reflect back to when I only had one pair of shoes, a pair of jeans, one sweater, maybe two shirts, mm -hmm. and two dollars was my lunch money for the week if I even had that. Okay. So I'd have to maybe try to play dice and gamble to try to make some extra money mm -hmm. and determine which day I was the hungriest. Mm -hmm. And I could determine which day was actually colder than the other mm -hmm. by how quickly my toes would get numb because of how cold it was. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. So you experienced some pretty tough stuff as a youngster, you know, how did that kind of stuff shape who you are now? Well, the holes in the shoes really helped me understand, you know, using something to its fullest, but mm -hmm. maybe that was a little overboard. Mm -hmm. But with that, I, I learned to just keep it simple. Mm -hmm. And now that I, I can have more shoes and more clothes, mm -hmm. I, I just keep it to what I need. Mm -hmm. And I've learned to make things last mm -hmm. uh, to what I need it for. The word that's like on the tip of my tongue is resourcefulness. Yes. You know, I've been in very similar situations. I ended up in the streets in Toronto with nothing. All I had was a backpack, you know. But to become incredibly resourceful to survive, you know, now I'm thriving, but I'm still very conscious of those roots and yes. what it's taught me. You know, it really makes exactly. us savvy individuals, right, when you learn that. Um, you know, if you were to talk a little bit about personal development, because I know you're, you're big into that, um, and mindset, etc. you know, do you train the mind very similar as you would the body? Because I know you're kind of into the whole mindset thing. Well, absolutely. It took me a while to really figure that out, mm -hmm. that they actually go hand in hand. Okay. Because I, I was never very athletic to begin with as a child, although I did enjoy sports. And it wasn't until I started to get into the gym and working out that I started to realize, hey, really this is all just a mental game. Mm -hmm. Like for example, the other day, uh, you know, we shared that uh, you gave me some advice, just do it when it came to doing some cardio. I was stuck on the mind frame of right now I'm at 10, 15, 20 minutes and even that was a challenge. Yeah. And, and you're showing me like, you know, over 55 minutes and still going strong. And you just said, just do it. So the next day, it's I just so simple, went for it. it. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I just went for it and I did it. Before you know it, it's, I'm at 20 minutes, 23 minutes, 26, 30. And then before I know it, it's like, what was I so afraid of? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We start to measure these things and incrementally increase. You know, even when you get up in the morning, you know, it's one of the things I use with my, with my students, you know. Getting up at the 5 a.m. club. I'm part of Robin Sharma's 5 a.m. club. And people are like, how do you do that, right? And then I like you I said can I give you some advice and they're like what's that just do it right so when you say those three little words in the morning you jump out of bed and whoo, 
away you go, <laughs> right? Yes. No complaints, right? So let's talk a little bit about you know the public speaking that you're involved in now, and a little bit about your professional career. So, with the motivational speaking and the professional career, um, I'd have to relate it back to my experience with my mom. Like a, a lot, I owe to my mom, so okay, I stay cool. humble in that sense. Yeah. But uh, I remember her listening to Tony Robbins as a kid. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know what he was saying at the time. I just remember yeah. hearing the music. Da, da, yeah, da. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I just hear it go. And, and with that, I got to, like I shared earlier, I got to hear different mindsets. Yeah. So when I got to apply it in my adult years, it, it really helped me understand that I need to give back. So with my professional speaking, really the main focus is giving back and providing value to others. So although there's sales involved, really it's mm -hmm. not about selling, it's about selling yourself and being your best self. I love it, I love it. Now, you know, I know you were involved with the United Nations Association of Canada and that's kind of how we met as you invited me there. What inspired you to get involved with an organization like that? What is it about that organization? Well, that I'd have to actually give thanks back to my beautiful girlfriend. Okay, because, great. Uh, she was actually involved with it. And I liked what she was doing. It, it had to do with, uh, with youth and having been uh, youth myself, like anybody else, I know how troubling it can be. So I thought, hey, you know, I'd, I'd like to contribute. She helped me get involved and it just went from there and, you know, let the universe unfold itself and here we are. I love it. I love it. Now, as a coach, you know, and, and you know, I, I'm not necessarily you know, up to speed with what you coach. Is, is it more of a lifestyle coach? Is it a nutrition coach, a fitness coach? Or what type of coaching do you do? Well, I always like to say uh, sales training and coaching. Yeah. But sometimes people get the wrong idea. They think it's like selling products and services, although that is a part of it. Mm -hmm. Essentially, it's really selling yourself and the best version of yourself. Because really, you can't sell anything any material object or mm, service. That's a great point. Until you sell yourself on yourself, mm -hmm. and then you can sell yourself to others mm -hmm. in the most positive way. Some people use it for negative. That's their choice. I don't promote that. Mm -hmm. But it's about really selling yourself on the best version of you. And then obviously, you know, before you can sell yourself is being the best version exactly. of you, you know, mind, body, and spirit. And just really holistically taking good care of ourselves. A lot of people forget that, you know, they're always taking care of everybody else, but to get selfish in health, we have what's called the five F word system, food, fitness, family, finances, and fun, and having a balance of all five to become the best version of you and then do exactly what you just said, sell yourself, right? Exactly. So, so very, very cool. Now let's, let's play a game. Let's say if, uh, you know, we had Edwin in the future, five years from now, you know, money's no object, what is Edwin doing? Money's no object, really I would just be helping people, doing a lot more community work, traveling with my girlfriend. We, we wouldn't be boyfriend, girlfriend, that's for sure by then. And really just spending time with my family, just keeping it simple and humble. I love it, I love it. Okay, on a final note, maybe if you were to share three nuggets of wisdom, Edwin wisdom, if this is the last day on the planet, what would you share with some of our viewers? If I had to share three nuggets of wisdom, one would be, be the best version of yourself, absolutely help others, and give back, definitely. I love it, and how do they find you? You can find me on Instagram, Edwin Zapata, uh, or Facebook, Edwin Zapata, or my website, finish your website. Yeah, yes. please feel free. Yeah. Uh, edzapata.com. I love it, I love it. Edwin, thank you so, so much for thank coming you, on the show. It's been an honor. You know, I'm sure we're going to cross paths many, many, many times, you know, and thank you for referring our lovely guest who was on an earlier show with us. Thank you. So this is the Dynamo Show. Here we are today. We've had some great guests already, and we're going to tune in to one more. Stay tuned after this short commercial break.